Hello my dear students. Today we will learn Newton's first law. Students, in previous lecture I explained about the force. Okay. Means different types of force. Contact force, non-contact force. So, force brings a object in motion that you know. Okay. So, what is a force? Force is a physical a external coach. Okay. A, an external coach which can change the size shape of a body which can bring a body into motion which can stop a body which is already in motion now students some laws will come okay that is the force some law will come related to that force or this all uh, the system is running in the universe everything related to that uh, rest and motion is given through three laws okay which is Newton's first law, second law and third law. Okay. That we will learn. In previous lecture, I already give the introduction that uh, why object in rest, why object in uh, motion. Okay. What the, why these things happens? Everything has been discussed uh, through these three law. And uh, in classical physics, these are the mother three laws you need to remember. Okay, when you will learn the quantum physics, there the Einstein will come. And uh, in classical physics, for heavy particles, okay, uh, naturally what we are uh, watching in, pro in, our, uh, in front of our eyes, these three law is totally applicable. Okay, so to understand the Newtonian physics or the classical physics, these three law is important. So students, let's start the first law. So very interesting, very nicely it has present here students. If you read, I am just reading and explaining. And if you also read, you understand. It's very easy. See, we have read the linear motion in chapter 2. Okay, motion in straight line means linear motion already completed. Previous chapter. Now question arise, what is the cause of the motion? You know, cause of the motion means they experience a force already we learn. Now students example, see. To move a cycle, a cyclist has to apply force on its pedal. In a car, petrol engine provides force needed to move the car. To move horse cart, horse applies force by scratching its, stretching its muscle. To move a boat ahead, a force is applied by the oar on the water to push it backward. Okay, and force of reaction exerted by the water to move the boat ahead. Okay, so there is a action reaction force happens in case of boat or similarly horse is also apply stretching each muscle and applying force that's why the horse cart is moving everywhere there is a force is running so previously the concept was that that before Galileo okay before Galileo scientist of view that force is needed not only to start motion but also to keep a object moving even with uniform velocity so keep it in mind that a object is moving in uniform velocity that is also constantly a force needed to keep it in uniform velocity that concept was there before Galileo okay so uh, so in other words object remained in motion so long as the external force applied to produce motion remains present okay so that is force must act continuously so keep body in motion understand and after that you just see that the view was based on the observation that motion of a body causes when force is withdrawn from it okay cgs okay means when that is observation basically that time it was the concept it has seen that when force is giving object is moving when force stop object stop stop but but students after that galileo did not approve approve the above view okay first galileo didn't accept it at least though we can see and we can say that it is it is correct but it's completely wrong students okay that we are learning, uh, we will learn, okay. Mm. From his experiment, he found no force is needed, no force is needed to continue motion of a moving body. 
if a body is set on in motion it will remain in motion even when force applied a set of body in uh, a applied to set the body in motion is withdrawn okay means galileo is saying that if the uh, first initially we give a force but also when we just remove that force still the object will be in motion okay provided that there is no other force such as friction etc to oppose the motion understand means there should not be any frictional force and that is the right concept students you know suppose there is a paved path okay okay smooth surface so when you are kick a ball in the field you can see that field uh, is muddy and lots of obstruction is there frictional force is very high so ball can't move long distance after certain distance it, it will stop but students if you uh, just do it in the home you can see the ball is moving much more distance because of the smooth surface okay means friction is less so why this thing happens so if there is totally no friction just think if there is no friction so initially if you give the force that ball will continuously will move continuously it will move understand so whatever galileo told it's correct i hope you are understanding so the, that thing is explained over here if you read you can understand so in other word an object if one set in motion moves with uniform velocity if no force act on it just mention this thing that is very important no force acting on it if frictional force opposite it will stop okay similarly so this is called this called galileo's law of inertia and this discussion uh, the, there is two con uh, conclusion okay of this uh, galileo discussion is that if a body is at rest it remain at rest unless force applied on it and if a body is moving it will continue to move similar thing applied for the rest okay means if a object in rest that means it will always in the rest it will not move but when you bring it in motion then what happens it will st start moving okay it will not stop if there is no external force on it so student these two uh, formula these two conclusion <laughs> assumption you can say as given through the law by the newtons okay newton put the above uh, put the above observation in the form of law newton say that it is universally it is applicable it is a law so that is called newton's first law and this is the law same thing has written again and again first law is says that if a body you just write in your own word that if a body in a state of rest it will always will be rest if there is no any external force applied in it okay you will write like this way similarly if a body is in motion you can do two point one and second point you can write if a body in uh, moving its same direction it will move it will continuously moving if there is no force opposing applied on it okay no force no external force applies on it okay so these two law give the idea about inertia and force students what is inertia now it's very interesting so inertia that first part a object will be raised if its inertia is high so newton's first law gives definition of inertia according to which object cannot change its state by itself inertia means a object no object will wants to change its position that is the inertia why because of its mass more big object more mass it 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 never wants to move its place one place to another so we give more force so mass is proportional to inertia mass increase means inertia increase so inertia what is definition of inertia that you simply say that a body can't change a, a object can't change its position te, not tends to change its position is called its inertia when a body a body can't change its position or any object can't change its position from the rest this is called it inertia okay no one but if you give force to it nothing can do it it have to force means definition of force is like that it will bring you bringing that into motion external force you are giving otherwise that is called inertia 
so student that is uh, definition example a book lying on the table remains same place un until it is not displaced so the property of a object by virtue of which it tends to remain on the state of rest okay it is the inherent property of each object each object each has the inherent property because everything every object has in the rest always stay in the rest have you seen that without uh, you touching any body is moving by itself nothing okay now students one another also definition we are getting definition of force second part of newton is saying where he, he uh, told that uh, a body is already in motion always it is in motion that means the external force is external cause which bring a stationary object can change the state okay bring a stationary object to motion that is called force okay no right to uh, you write according to your word but all the terms should be there okay all the terms should be there so force is a external cause here it has written students now move to the next mass and what is mass and inertia Achha, force is a vector quantity the sum of two equal opposite force zero and a body acted upon several force also have resultant net force you just remember this thing we always uh, maybe in the next newton second law i will say about the forces force acting on that object is zero more properly it will be resultant force or net force okay because in a object several times of force different types of uh, types of force is acting so resultant means combination of all force is zero that's why f net this is called f net means net force is equal to zero okay so this is the more proper term not uh, force is equal to zero net force acting on that object is zero that i will uh, teach later so just remember this thing mm, now come to what is the difference mass and inertia nothing students mass and inertia proportional thing mass increase means inertia increase okay the greater the mass greater the inertia of the body okay so a cricket ball more massive than a tennis ball because a cricket ball has more inertia more mass so it's why it's more massive okay and uh, in case of they moving with same velocity it is more difficult to stop cricket ball because more mass comparison to the tennis ball that is also i think you can understand more mass so both are moving in same velocity more mass object suppose you are holding more mass object less mass means light object easily you can hold it but if it is more mass then it's very hard to stop because you need more force to stop it understand students so there also second point it is difficult to set a loaded, loaded trolley in motion than an unloaded trolley okay same that is also you, you can understand means more mass object okay more mass object you just giving a larger force you have to give a larger force to bring it into motion but if it there is a light object easily you push it it will start moving okay that thing just explain over here i hope students you understand these are very easy very easy now students uh, kind of inertia there is some examples to better understand this uh, inertia that i will explain and i will uh, end this lecture then tomorrow uh, next lecture i will provide on the second uh, law okay newton second law so some example you see inertia at rest okay inertia you know not tendency to move it will uh, inertia means always a object wants to stay in the rest that is inertia bas okay it will not wants to move anywhere now students see when a train suddenly start moving forward the passenger standing in the compartment tends to fall backwards everybody experience this suppose you are in the train or in the bus everywhere you are standing suddenly the uh, bus start start moving you are going your head is going backwards why suppose you are standing like this way so initially you are in the rest when car is moving forward lower portion attached with the car so lower portion move but your upper portion due to inertia it don't want to go same at same force understand so 
যেটা তোমার টাচ হয়ে আছে গাড়ির সাথে সেটা মুভ করে যাচ্ছে গাড়ির সঙ্গে সঙ্গে কুইকলি মুভ হচ্ছে কিন্তু তোমার ওপর পোর্শানটাও আপার পোর্শানটা কিন্তু তখনও সেট হয়নি যে যেতে চাইছে না ডিউ টু দ্য ইনার্সিয়া তো তাই ওটা কি করছে ও আগের জায়গায় থাকতে চাইছে তো একটা ইম্ব্যালেন্স হচ্ছে পা আগে এগিয়ে যাচ্ছে বডি পেছনের দিকে থাকছে তাই তুমি ইউ আর মুভিং ব্যাক পেছনের দিকে ঝুঁকে যাচ্ছ দ্যাট ইজ ডিউ টু দ্য ইনার্সিয়া সিমিলারলি স্টুডেন্টস অ্যানাদার এক্সাম্পল হেয়ার সেকেন্ড এক্সাম্পল হোয়েন হোয়েন এ হ্যাঙ্গিং কার কার্পেট ইজ বিটিন উইথ এ স্টিক দ্য ডাস্ট পার্টিক্যাল স্টার্ট ফলিং আউট অফ ইট কার্পেট থেকে ধুলো ঝাড়া হয় বাই দিস প্রসেস বাই বিটিং উইথ দ্য স্টিক ওকে অ্যান্ড ওকে সো দ্য রিজন ইজ দ্যাট দ্য পার্ট অফ দ্য কার্পেট অন দ্য স্টিক দ্য রিজন ইজ দ্যাট দ্য পার্ট অফ দ্য কার্পেট হোয়ার দ্য স্টিক স্ট্রাইক কামস মোশান অ্যাট ওয়ান্স হোয়াইল ডাস্ট পার্টিক্যাল দে ওয়ান্ট টু স্টে ইন দ্য রেস্ট ওকে কার্পেট ব্রিংস ইন দ্য মোশান বাট ডাস্ট পার্টিক্যাল স্টে ইন টু রেস্ট সাপোজ দিস ইজ দ্য কার্পেট দেয়ার ইজ দ্য ডাস্ট পার্টিক্যাল সো কার্পেট মুভ অ্যাওয়ে ডাস্ট পার্টিক্যাল রিমেন দিস পজিশন অ্যান্ড দে উইল ফল ডাউন ওকে সো দিস ইজ দ্য মেকানিজম ফল ডাউন ডিউ টু দ্য আর্থ ফুল টু ডেন ইউ রিড ইট ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডস ওয়ান শেকিং দ্য ব্রাঞ্চেস অফ ট্রি ফ্রুট ফল ডাউন আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড সাপোজ দ্যাট ইজ ব্রাঞ্চ ইউ আর শেকিং দ্যাট ব্রাঞ্চ উইল গো আপ অ্যান্ড ডাউন বাট ফ্রুট ওয়ান্স টু স্টে অন দ্য সেম পজিশন দ্যাটস ওয়াই দে উইল রিলিজ অ্যান্ড দে উইল ফল ডাউন নাও অন স্ট্রাইকিং দ্য কয়েন অ্যাট দ্য বটম অফ পাইল অফ ক্যারাম কয়েন্স উইথ স্ট্রাইকার লোয়েস্ট কয়েন অনলি মুভস অ্যাওয়ে ওয়াইল দ্য রেস্ট অফ দ্য পাইল রিমেন্স ইনট্যাক্ট ওকে দ্য রিজন ইজ দ্যাট দ্য স্ট্রাইকার হিটস দ্য লোয়েস্ট কয়েন ইট মুভস চেঞ্জ স্টেট অফ রেস্ট ওয়াইল রিমেন রিমেনিং পাইল ডিউ টু ইনার্সিয়া দ্য রেস্ট রিমেন্স হোয়ার ইট ইজ অ্যান্ড আলটিমেটলি টেক্স দ্য প্লেস অফ অরিজিনাল পাইল ডিউ টু দ্য ফোর্স অফ গ্র্যাভিটি ওকে সো বাই রিডিং ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড অনলি লোয়েস্ট লোয়েস্ট কয়েন উইল মুভ ওকে বাট দোজ আর হেভিয়ার দে কান্ট মুভ ডিউ টু দ্য ইনার্সিয়া and here also this test figure okay that card will when you are give, applying force that card move first but the coin do, don't want to move due to the more inertia coin is more inertia than the card so coin will in, uh, fall on the that uh, okay fall on that glass okay now students see similarly students now some inertia in motion we will learn A cyclist riding along a level road does not come to rest immediately after he stops paddling. Okay, that is, so when a uh, cycle is in moving, we have to apply brake. Okay, otherwise it can't come in the rest. Okay, mm, so students, we applied, otherwise that uh, cycle will, uh, immediately it will not uh, stop. Similarly, students, when a passenger jump out of a moving train, he falls down. ओके सो यू कैन सी इनसाइड दैट स्ट्रेन होल बॉडी वाज स्टेट ऑफ मोशन ओके मींस इमीडिएटली व्हेन जंप आउट मींस इमीडिएटली इन बस आल्सो स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट्स व्हाई कंडक्टर यूज्ड टू से दैट गो डाउन योर फेस शुड बी इन फ्रंट साइड डोंट गेट डाउन टर्निंग बैक साइड यू विल फॉल डाउन बिकॉज योर बॉडी इज इन मोशन immediately when just you uh, that's why you see when my uh, people want to get down from the bus or uh, train they used to face their uh, they, their face should be in the front side and they will just run same uh, speed like train because of the because to maintain that motion otherwise fall down okay because your body is in motion immediately you are uh, get down to the uh, you are coming uh, to the ground that means your body is getting stopped but upper portion still in motion so you may fall down that's why this thing happens student there is some example same examples like this way next class i will explain the second law